G'day guys, welcome back. Now, I know this is really a bit belated. These are my October sponsors. And you know how when you let things slip and slip and then you think, oh, it's too late, It's I've left it too long. Well, it's never too late to say thank you. So thank you to my October sponsors. Uh, Marilyn, Velda, Lake Bloomer, Art, Carol, Lynette, Linda, Paul, Kathy, Joanne, Maria, Daniel, Catherine, Nancy, Vaslo, Kelly, Kathy, Wendy, hey Wendy, and of course the lovely Andrea who sends me some money every month and your painting is coming Andrea. I just have to organise which one to send you. So thank you, thank you everybody. Really appreciate that help. Rightio, moving on. Now this is the Christmas pour that I did and it's all dry. This was the one where I tried out my new gold for the first time. And the gold is, is nice and shiny, but you can see how small the cells are in here. That's because I mixed it one to one, one part paint to one part pouring medium. Uh, and that was obviously too thick. So I'm having another go with the gold today. And I've mixed it one and a half parts uh, pouring medium to one part paint. So this is my pouring medium just in here. As you know, I make up a big bottle of it. I'll actually make up like um, three or four litres and then I'll put it into here. 60% glue, 40% water. And that's mixed one to one with all the paints except for the gold. This is it here. Montmartre Studio Acrylic. If it says school studio acrylic, it's the same thing. It's just a marketing uh, gimmick, I guess, for Australia aimed at schools, but the same. So that's the gold. And the silver was a little bit thinner. Not as thin as the normal paints, but a little bit thinner. So I mixed that. Um, I just I did it one to two. Uh, sorry, one and a half parts pouring medium and one part paint, and it was too thin, so I added an extra blob of paint. So I've got black, gold, navy, white, teal, and silver. So the, the navy and the teal I just make up myself from the um, Montmartre colours. And spot on treadmill silicone for cells. I'm going to reduce the amount of oil I put in. Um, well, except for the silver, because it's got extra because I, um, you know, I made a bit more than I needed. I'm going to put two in. Um, won't do the white. Put two in there, two in there, and I won't do the black either. The black and the white are my opaque colours, so I'm just going to leave them without oil. And I'm going to see if, or what difference it makes with a little bit less oil. Because sometimes I just think that my paintings are too busy. They've got too many cells. So let's cut down on the oil and just see what happens, hey? So I love these, these colours. I think they're very regal, very royal, um, expensive looking colours. Initially I was just going to do black, silver, white and gold. And then... I thought, oh, it's a bit plain. Let's add some, my favourite, navy and teal. So I did, and there we go. This is a 30 by 40 centimetre canvas, 12 by 16 inch. And we'll start with some black in the bottom. So I've separated the two metallics from each other. I've kept the white away from the black. So the gold next. And then I'll have another dark colour next to the gold. I'll put the navy next to it. And then we'll have a light colour, the white, between the navy and the teal because those are both dark. And then we'll go back to the light silver and then back to the dark with the black. And that's my reasoning with the layering. So leaves a little mound. We have the three second rule where you... <coughs> Do a ribbon like that on top and it stays, the ribbon stays for three seconds. One, two, three, and then it's gone. And that's the thickness that I like my cups, my paint for the flip cups. Oh, the white. Last 
when I did that Christmas pour, the white kind of disappeared. I did it one to one. This one, I've added um, an extra 10 grams of white paint. I just found that, um, yeah, the white disappeared and I thought, oh, must be a little bit thin. I did have um, issues with the white being a bit thin, but that was the previous batch of white that came through. But um, yeah, I've just added an extra 10 grams just to be on the safe side because I want it to show up. Um, so you can't really, you can't really see the white in that, can you? I just think it was a bit thin and it vanished. So back to making my white a little bit thicker. Okay, so that's the first layer. I'll go with the black again on top of the silver. Um, might not use all of that. Black's quite, quite strong, isn't it? Gold, I'm just layering them all the same. It's just easier for me. I get too confused when I have to do them separately. It's probably because I'm talking and then I'm not concentrating. All right, so that's the gold done. And how about we swap these two over? Go with the green. Yeah, why not? See what the green looks like next to the the gold, well it's a teal. It's like a ocean, bluey green ocean colour. And then we'll see what the navy looks like next to the silver, eh? Instead of the teal next to the silver. It's pretty to change it up a little bit. Get some different colours in there, that's for sure, by just changing your layering just a little bit. Nothing too drastic. Try and get every little bit of paint out. All your little scrapings, they can be an extra couple of, an extra tablespoon, can't they? <laughs> just hoping I haven't made it too thick. You know that last Christmas pour, well actually you haven't probably haven't seen it yet. Oh you might have. I did two Christmas pours. The first one that I showed you and then I did another one where I thinned the mix a little bit more and I did more layers. Um, I'm not sure if it's up yet whether this one will go first. Not sure. Um, but um, I can't even remember what I was saying now. I'm not going to use any more of that silver. Um, it was a little bit thinner. I made the mix thinner. And my cells grew bigger, which was nice. But the colours blended a little bit more than I would have liked. So I'm just going back to my normal thickness now. But then you, your cells tend to be a little bit smaller as well. But we'll see what I can come up with. Maybe I'll stretch them a little bit earlier. Look at that. Smooth those out. Now I don't need to wait very long for these because A, I've sprayed the cups with my silicone spray and B, they're pretty full so the paint really hasn't got very far to go. Swipe my hands while that's doing its thing. Please be pretty. <clears throat> Having a break from the bloom. I must say, I'm, I'm not really enjoying the bloom <laughs> technique. Uh, I did it because everyone else was doing it, you know, peer group pressure, but went out and bought all the base paint and the pouring medium paint and the gloss varnish, inks, whole heap of new paints because the ones I have don't work and blah 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 and spent hundreds and hundreds of dollars and um, it was just sort of yeah you know I prefer this <laughs> I'll, I'll still have a another play with it but I really enjoy doing this so I'll stick to these okay let's go and 
trying to pour so that I don't get that blob there at the bottom. A little bit slow. Oh no, see that one didn't work. That one was a bit too slow. Not sure how. You'd think by now, after doing these for two years, I would know how to do them, but I don't know. They're different every time. Oh my gosh, those colours. Oh, I'd really like to put some more through there, but I'm not going to. I've got plenty of paint. More gold's on the bottom. Actually, I might, I might, because there's a lot of black there. Will I? Won't I? Will I? Won't I? I don't know what's in this cap. I'll start off I don't mind actually it wouldn't be nice to actually do a whole painting of striping hey I kind of feel like I need to do another stripey now because I've got that one I don't normally do that, but there's a lot of black there. <clears throat> and I left a lot of gold in the bottom. Okay. Oh, that's looking pretty. Look at the gold. Why have I only got gold there? Um, I'm going to actually... I'm just going to see what happens if I tilt without my corner catcher. Like so. Okay, now torching. I don't know if that was a good idea putting the stripes up there. I <laughs> We'll see what happens. Okay, let's give this a torch. And hopefully, because I've only got two drops of silicone oil in each color, I won't get as many cells. Maybe I won't get the clusters. Hmm, I don't know that it's made much difference, really. Looks, it looks about the same so far. Whoops, I was looking over here and torching over there. <laughs> Wasn't watching what I was doing. stripes in is when your cells pop up in a stripe they look like um, <clears throat> food in an intestine like a long line and then a blob and a long line and a blob <laughs> so I'll, I think I will have to oh, I love these colors so I'll do these colors again but don't let me Put any more paint up the middle, will you? Don't let me. Oh, look at those colours, you guys. Oh, my gosh. Oh, there's something in there. Something in there. Let me get my little tweezers. Don't know what that is. Okay, so now this is where I look at it and I go, oh, that's really, really pretty. But I'd like bigger cells. The gold's looking good. The silver's looking good. I've got a bit of silver through there. But I would like 
slightly bigger cells. Now, I don't know what it, it is. Some of, looks like the gold is kind of, not splitting, but it's just doing its thing, you know. It's, it's a metallic. They're always difficult to deal with. I'm going to go off that corner a little bit there. Just open those cells up a little bit more. Yeah, now I can't I can't really do any more because if I go off this side here, these are all going to overstretch. See how they're starting to go elongated here? So I can't do that. Anything I can do is bring the paint back to the middle and go off here a little bit to open these up. A little bit off the side there. Not too much. Okay, how's that? Is that looking pretty? Still haven't gone over that corner. All right, so that's lovely and dark and rich looking, isn't it? Mmm, love that. Probably could have got away with maybe a little bit less black because the black is so dominant. That's really pretty. Let me fix my corners. Actually, I'll go over that corner because it's got a little bit of a, a stripy looking thing there. None of the other corners have. So that's corners done. What about you? Oh, you haven't got any either over there. There we go. You have a little bit of paint there. I want to leave you out. Oh, I just touched a cup with my arm. I've got black paint all over my arm. So what are you thinking about these colours, you guys? I didn't end up needing that, did I? So plenty of paint. I just pushed it off. Um... Yeah, bad decision of mine, adding those stripies through the centre. But I am going to do these colours again because I love them. Um, and the two drops of silicone oil, perfect. Um, I don't see... Uh, not that I don't see a lot of difference, but like I didn't get a lot of clusters up, you know. So maybe less is more, like two drops is, seems to be perfect. Right, let me get you down for a close up. I can't stop looking at it, it's so pretty. I love doing the dark paintings though, especially if they've got the blues in them. They're really my thing. Love them. Open up. No, it doesn't want to open up anymore. <laughs> okay. Just give you a minute to look at it there. Oops. I'll try and, you know, open the screen <laughs> with my fingers and I just end up making it darker. It's that powder from the inside of the gloves that gets on your fingers. Okay, let's go down and have a little look at this baby. So pretty. Now in there, that's where I was saying what the gold is doing. But I think it's just because it's a gold. of it's really pretty when it dries and um, this section of gold here sparkles it's going to be really nice and then we've got the dark blue there and then over here we've got like a, a pale aqua haven't we from just the mix of white being in there with the navy and the teal it's given us a lighter shade it does look lighter though through my screen it's actually a darker painting they always seem to look lighter through the screen, but uh, when I when I put my my photo up, 
um, on the acrylic pouring pages. You'll be able to see the, the true colour. Alright, so that there is, see how though you get those little blobby things inside the lines, which I don't like when you do stripies, you get those blobs inside them and yeah that that just ruins it for me so i knew there was a reason why i didn't put the paint back up the center but it's been so long since i did it i kind of forgot about it but that's why and then again you see in in the black stripe there through the center you get those those little those cells all in a row inside the stripe all right, so that's enough of that. Um, I've got my cups over there ready to go. I'll mix up some more paint. And we'll do these colours again, hey? I'll just cut back on the black just a, a tinch. And I won't put any stripes up the middle. All right. All right, see you soon for that one. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.